In this video, we're diving into the wiring connections for one wire, two wire, three wire, and four wire oxygen sensors. So let's get started. First, let's discuss the wiring of the one wire oxygen sensor. This single wire oxygen sensor was used in older vehicles. The single wire sends a signal to the ECM in the form of voltage, which informs the ECM about the air fuel ratio. This wire directly connects to the ECM. The sensing element is grounded through the exhaust pipe in a one wire oxygen sensor. This single wire oxygen sensor is non-heated, meaning it does not have a heating element. It relies entirely on the heat from the exhaust gases to reach its operating temperature, unlike modern sensors that include a heating element for quicker response times. Knowing how oxygen sensor circuits work is crucial, especially if you're diagnosing issues like poor fuel efficiency or engine performance. To confirm if the issue is related to the oxygen sensor, check for OBD2 codes. It's super easy. Just connect the scanner to your vehicle and retrieve the codes. These are some common OBD2 codes related to oxygen sensor circuit. If you're unsure what these codes mean, no worries. Visit our website obdcode.org for a comprehensive list and their explanations. Next is the two-wire oxygen sensor. One wire is for the output signal, which goes to the ECM, and the other wire provides ground, which also comes from the ECM. Both wires are connected to the sensing element in the oxygen sensor. Like the one-wire sensor, the two-wire oxygen sensor is also non-heated. The main difference between the wiring of the one-wire and two-wire sensors is that in the one-wire sensor, the sensing element is grounded through the exhaust pipe, while in the two-wire sensor, it is grounded through a separate wire. If you found this video helpful and want to see more wiring diagram videos for different sensors or other car components, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Now, let's move to the three-wire oxygen sensor. This sensor has three wires, two of which are the same color. These same colored wires are for the heater circuit, while the third wire is for the sensing element that communicates with the ECM. Grounding is provided through the sensor body, which connects to the exhaust pipe. Remember, the three-wire oxygen sensor has an integrated heater circuit. The heater maintains the oxygen sensor's temperature between 600 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius. It is important to note that an oxygen sensor does not work immediately at cool temperatures because it cannot sense the oxygen level in exhaust gases until it reaches the required temperature of 600 degrees Celsius to 800 degrees Celsius. Without a heater, the sensor would take time to generate an output signal as it would need to gradually warm up from the heat of the exhaust gases. Non-heated sensors, like one-wire and two-wire sensors, operate slowly for this reason. Finally, we come to the most commonly used four-wire oxygen sensor, which is found in 98% of newer vehicle models. Similar to the three-wire sensor, it is also a heated oxygen sensor. Four-wire oxygen sensor typically has four wires. Two are dedicated to the heater circuit within the sensor, and they're often the same color. The other two are signal wires. One is a reference ground, and the other is the actual oxygen signal wire. The primary difference between the three-wire and four-wire sensors is that the sensing element in the three-wire sensor is grounded through the body, while in the four-wire sensor it is grounded through a separate wire.